What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Well, today is not the typical way I like to start my video with a light drizzle, but I'm here at Universal Studios um, Orlando Resort to check out what's new and also talk about the new construction update for Halloween Horror Nights. Halloween Horror Nights is right around the corner. I cannot wait for this year because there's a lot of new brand new mazes. They announced all the mazes, all the scary zones, and we're gonna go in, check out what we can see, and talk about the brand new locations. So let's check it out, let's go inside. One of the main things I'm definitely looking forward to is the banner in the front. There's gonna be different banners of different locations all over the place that indicates Halloween Horror Night is just around the corner. There's nothing much we can see, but I think I can see like some small things ready to be hung on the sides right there, but I cannot wait. I cannot wait for this year's event. So let's go inside and talk about what's new. Wow, this is an interesting scene right here. Shrek 4D is always like a 5, 10, 15 minute, but now it's a 40 minute wait. You know what that means. One of the theaters are closed off prep and Halloween Horror Nights. So they're definitely moving wrong in the construction inside right here. Before I go and take that direction, I really want to quickly go to build, uh, the LA section of Beverly Hills here in the park check out something because something has just gone vertical and there's an annual pass thing happening such as magnets so I want to see if we can grab a real quick so let's see what I can find oh boy here we go there are some beams upwards right here you know what that means Halloween Horror Nights is kicking to high gear right now there's a lot of beams at the whole area of Beverly Hills you have one right here two down there and two more down there and don't you worry, I am going to talk about the scare zones and the haunted house later on the video right here. Overall, I just want to see the landscape, how everything looks. And there's just an announcement today about a brand new nighttime show happening in the lagoon. We'll go in all that in detail later on. But first, look at all that. It's gorgeous. Halloween Hornet is coming along so fast and wonderfully. I cannot wait. So before I continue walking around Hollywood um, Universal, I took a quick stop at the Universal Lounge because they have some new merchandise only for annual pass holders and for annual pass holders because it's appreciation month, they're giving us a special annual pass a magnet and a special button. And this button, not a lot of people will understand this, but for those who are from the 80s and the 90s, I want to know if you know it. Leave it in the comment section below if you know where is this from. This used to be an old attraction here. Here's a hint. It took place of Simpsons. Where Simpsons is right now, that was the old attraction base of this symbol right here. So I want to find out if you know what this is. And it is personally for me, my favorite movie of that era. One of the best movies. Best series, best movies from Universal. And that's um, their logo, in a sense. <laughs> but that's pretty much it. Um, but first, we're gonna check out the merchandise right here for annual pass holders. So these are for the ladies right here. Universal Series for Ride the Movie Pass Holder. And this is currently at, it doesn't say. Very smart Universal not showing us how much this are. And not just that, they also have a baseball sleeve of this. Same thing, Universal Floor, Ride the Movie, Pass Holder. And again, doesn't say. If there's gonna be some things for the women, of course, there will be some items for the men. Same thing as the baseball sleeve. They have it for the men's right here. And not just that, they have, this is more unisex, both male and female can wear this, but this is like pretty much inspired based on the, of the 90s, honestly, because this right here is when I also Adventure Pros opened, 1999, and yeah, that's pretty amazing. So once you pass Belly Hills, the LA section, um, you got right here, next to the pond, there'll be actually be a brand new nighttime show out in the lagoon called Halloween Marathon of Mayhem. This is gonna be themed around all the characters of different houses from Ghostbusters, Stranger Things, Universal Monsters, and so many more. So this is all gonna be a nighttime show right here. And by the concert art, as you can see on the screen right now, looks spectacular. I recommend getting here early for get a good spot. 
I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a 360 view. You could get anywhere from this angle or on the other side right there. Uh, but that's pretty much it from, that is the big announcement that happened today as I'm, I am recording this. But overall, there's still a lot more things to do and a lot more Halloween things to check out. So let's go. As I walk down towards the kids zone, there's actually a lot of um, speakers right here along the pathway. So I presume this might be a scare zone as well. Nothing big, but also there's a lot of pillars throughout the whole area right here as well. So again, this might be one of the scare zones this year. Nothing big. There are lights on top right there, but nothing hanging above as of right now. So we all just got to wait and see until time comes and prevail for Halloween Horror Nights. Some other things that's been happening right here in the kids zone is the food booths. The food booths are actually up ready to go when Halloween Horror Nights kicks in. There are, I believe, three on the left side and maybe one, no, two on the right side. So you have a total of five booths right here. Um, inside by SpongeBob right there you, where you can see where it says pizza, there's actually um, like pizza fries here. I never tried one before, but I am intrigued to check to try those out and I'll give you my honest opinion about them. But honestly, man, just looking more and more of this just gives me hype for this year's event. And also, if you're wondering what am I using, I'm using my iPhone because I don't want to use my camera. I don't want to get it wet uh, because that's one of my, that's really a good camera that I have. So I do not want to get it wet at all. Um, so, but hopefully once it stops raining, then I could bust on my big camera and just continue vlogging. But overall, this rain ain't gonna stop me. It honestly ain't gonna stop me. You know why I'm here in Men in Black. Besides just going on rides, there is now a maze being constructed right here. There is a black carp right there. That's pretty much all we can see. There's been a lot more things right there. Honestly, I cannot wait for this. This probably will be like a facade of like an image popping up. Maybe the Universal Monster will be back here because Man Black, there are monsters. Monsters, Universal Monsters. Kinda makes a connection there. But we will see. And don't forget, I did have the map that was leaked for Halloween Horror Nights. It is 99% accurate besides of one maze. We'll talk about the location based on the map and what's happening with Halloween Hornet and what was the mistake maze that they speculated slash elite. But honestly, that maze right there, oh, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Man, this video is getting better and better. Fear Factor live on stage is temporarily closed. You know for what? Because of this. Fear is not a factor for us. Fear Factor Live will be will have no shorts as we prepare for our Halloween Horror Nights. That is wonderful news. And we do know that Academy of Villains will be back this year for a brand new show. Um, if you haven't seen their show from my pre from my last two videos of last two years of them being here, um, they're gonna be a link down below or a suggestion on the top corner so you can check it out how they look. The next scare zone location that we're walking in will be right in front of the Fast and Furious Supercharged exit. And it looks like they extended it because last year it didn't end right there. It ended roughly around, I want to say by the red tent right there. That's where it ended last time, but they significantly extended this time. There are a lot of lights. Look at there's going to be fog machines, um, flashing lights as well. So if you're sensitive to that, be warned. Um, there will be a lot of flashing going around, but yeah, they extended it significantly Wow There's lights all around a lot of new things two towers Right here and oh, I just saw something I literally had to come back to this one because there are skeleton bones here All the way to the top. Oh my god. Unfortunately that one doesn't have it, but this one has it so you know what that means. They are wrapping up the te all the terror that coming for this year's event. Last stop for our scare zone location will be down in New York City right here. And there's a wires going zigzag throughout the whole top. And it looks like they're like Christmas lights? Are those Christmas lights? They look like Christmas lights. But wow, that's 
don't know honestly what those are. It looks kind of, it's hard to see from down here, but it looks like Christmas lights, honestly. So I don't know what the theme is. Oh, there's a, but wait, whoa, there is something down there. Hold the phone. From the mummy, there is a prop actually right here. Wayland's Pacific Treasure. Can this be like a mini show slash a horse spot that they're gonna do here? On top of that, they have pillars right here on the sides. So maybe, just maybe this could be something related to the Howling Horror Nights. As you can see, this is Howling Horror Night because this here, Parting Our Dust, we are in the procedure transforming the park for Howling Horror Nights, the nation's premier Halloween event. If you guys want more information of Howling Horror Nights, I will leave their link, the official website, down in the description below so you can check out and see everything. And yeah. Right over here, there's another prop, a huge tower. I don't know what this is actually for, but it says here, Zombie Kills of the Week. So I presume it is pretty much related to a specific movie that I am thinking of, but this could be for anything. And it says right there actually that Please do not climb. But I cannot wait for this. Another probably live show of something happening, but who knows? We just gotta wait and see. Okay, so I took a lot more shelter and I'm actually using my big camera. So some other houses that were just announced recently was the Ghostbuster was was a leak. Kill comes from outer space, which I did say I do believe in. Um, and the newest one, House of a Thousand Corpses, so that's a brand new one from Rob Zombie. Um, and I'm actually looking forward for this haunted house, actually. Um, also, Graveyard Game, that's another new house I just announced recently. Um, honestly, I'm not upset at all. Like, all these are amazing. The only house that they completely mistaken that was the Tooth Fairy from the list right here was the movie Us, the newest one from Jordan Peele's. That was the newest movie that just released and that got his own um, house this year. Uh, but like I said, this house, this year's event was 99% accurate. Not only that, they released the whole lineup of the scare zone. So earlier in the New York area, I was, I'm pretty sure, I'm 99% sure this will be Zombieland, double tap. Um, another one will be Rob Zombie, um, Hellbilly Deluxe. That's going to be honestly a very interesting one, especially with all the music they're probably in the background. Um, R.A.K. Kate, I want to say that's how you pronounce it correctly. Um, again, don't hold me to it. Another one is Vanilli Ball, like more romantic. And last but not least, Viking Undead. So, honestly, from this lineup, I could definitely say one of two things. One, next year, we might get a house based on one of these scare zones. They always do this, um, bring a scare zone uh, from from previous year to a haunted house the following year. So maybe Zombieland, Double Tap, may, that might be a scare zone next year. Um, that, I'm not sure. They could bring back Rob Zombie again for another year. Um, but overall, there are so many things are happening right now with Universal and it's just simply amazing for Halloween Horror Nights. Um, that's pretty much it I could think of as of right now. Um, but there's also some brand new information about the new theme park that's coming to Universal Epic Universe. Like I said, the new theme park that's coming to Orlando for Universal will be Epic Universe. So right here is actually a right here I'm actually recording from my phone show you guys how it looks. Um, by the way, if you're not following me on Instagram, what are you doing? <laughs> the link to that will be down in the description below. But here, we can see in the back right here, that's theming um, people were expecting of something like um, Universal Monster Land. Over here, in this area, people were speculating that this could be the official Nintendo Land that we've been all dying and waiting for. Um, this park is literally humongous. It looks like they're also doing like a nighttime show of a 360 with, with all the fireworks in the background. Um, towards the back right here, there is a special hotel that's connected to the park. So instead of um, 
getting in your car and driving or taxiing or bus or whatever you um, you prefer traveling to inside the, thing, in the resort. You could just walk literally the back side of, the thing, of your hotel because it's right there. Towards the middle, there is a huge shopping complex that you can just shop around, eat, and do everything. But one of the most intriguing things that kind of caught my eye is... Uh, well, that was Universal Halloween Horror. We're just about to check it out right now. Um, it's actually this area down here. People are speculating and thinking that this could be the um, How to Train Your Dragon. And there's a, ro a humongous roller coaster right back here. And this roller coaster could be the theme of anything, of dragons in general. It could be something with Tootless. Um, who knows honestly because this looks this concept bar looks fantastic. I cannot wait for that That's pretty much it for everything related to the new theme park and everything of Halloween Horror Nights related here in the park um, But I'm pretty sure that will be it for the video Thanks so much for coming back to the channel if you're new to the channel make sure you hit the subscribe button Feel the bell icon to be notified when brand new videos are up and give this video a big thumbs up There's a lot of things happening. I am trying my best to cover as many things as possible because Universal announcing like crazy things, Disney announcing crazy things, now SeaWorld announcing crazy things. So there's a lot of going on in Orlando. So I'm trying my best to catch up on everything and everything in the parks. Um, again, if you want to follow me on my Instagram, the link to that will be down in the description below. Thank you so, so, so much. And I'll catch you guys on the next video.